Hello, my name is Leslie Wallen. I'm an occupational therapist and today I'm sharing techniques for hand wrapping. And this is particularly useful for children who have epidermolysis bullosa as well as other congenital hand conditions. So it's really important before you begin to prepare all the dressings and products that you require prior to uh, bringing your child over um, to get started. And I'd like to just show you first the, um, the way of preparing the hand, particularly for children with EB. Um, we're going to secure a layer just around the wrist to provide a layer of protection prior to using the, the soft bandages we have in front of us today. And I'm going to share a way of wrapping two fingers that are side by side. So the first thing we're going to do is actually um, secure the dressing at the back of the hand. And what you're doing is you're lining up the slit that you've placed in your dressing with the web space. So you're covering each of the fingers at the back. And today, I'm, now I'm just doing the thumb and the index finger. And you're laying that down gently on the hand. And as you can see, I've actually pre-prepared sticking small pieces of tape to the dressing. I've done that just to make it a little bit easier to secure in place. So what I'm going to do is just wrap that dressing around the thumb. Okay, I'm making sure that I'm bringing that dressing all the way around and making sure that the tape isn't touching the skin. Now you can already see that this is a little bit fiddly, okay? And it is going to be fiddly at home too. So take your time. And if your template doesn't seem quite right, just stop, adjust your template, and try again. Okay, so here we go. Round the index finger. So you're going to drop that corner down in between the fingers. Get good contact with the finger. Okay, keeping everything nice and straight. As you can see, I've already curled my tape edge there. But that's okay, I'm just going to stick that piece down and trim that away. Just be very careful with your scissors. Okay, and as you can see there, we have the fingers wrapped. As you can see that the tape's not touching the skin. Okay, and those are two fingers together. Now this technique can be used for other two fingers that are side by side. Um, the template will be just a little bit different. Uh, because the thumb and the first finger, the web space, is just uh, on a slightly different angle. But we'll share those templates with you. Okay, so once your dressing's in place, you're going to take your very soft um, wrap, and we're going to start wrapping. Now, the way that we wrap, I just want to remind you, you're going to hold your wrap on one side, and you're going to be wrapping towards the thumb, and keeping the wrap close to the body. So we're going to secure it once around the webs, uh, around the wrist. Okay, we're going to secure it once around the wrist, and we're going to start by wrapping the thumb. Now this technique I'm going to show you is actually just for wrapping around the fingers. Okay, so you can do as many wraps as you need up and around each individual digit. Okay, so once you're done wrapping the thumb, you're going to still continue to wrap around the hand and we're going to do the wraps for the, each of the fingers from the back of the hand. So you're going to come around the front and you're always going to start at the thumb side of each finger. So you're going to very gently hold your dressing in place while you're bringing it through the web space. Okay, you don't want to put too much tension on the bandage. Okay, and for today I'm just going to show you one wrap around each finger. Okay, so there we go. So we've done a wrap, trying to keep your dressings nice and your wraps nice and flat, not putting too much tension as you come back to the wrist. And you're just going to go around the wrist. And we're going to go straight up to doing the middle finger. Now you're going to bring your wrap, again, just holding it at the back of the hand so you're not putting too much tension on the bandage as you're bringing it through the web space. And you're going to just wrap each finger, okay? And you're going to go around. Now one of the things that's nice about wrapping each finger is that we can use our, our stretchy, but this gentle stretch in the bandage to try and help open the fingers and keep them as straight as possible. Okay, so around we go again, holding your dressings, making sure that your wrap 
is nice and soft and not putting too much tension on it. Okay, so through the web space, around each finger. Okay, just checking every now and again, just checking the front. I could see that I was, I had a bit of a kink in my wrap there, so I want to just come back and make sure that that's as flat as possible. Okay, turn the hand back over. Okay, and down we go. Round towards the thumb first, and we're going to do our little finger now. So, starting on the thumb side of the finger, securing your bandage. And again, I can feel that maybe has a kink in it, so I'm going to come back and just fix that up so it's nice and flat. we go just that one time okay and down the back of the hand again not pulling too tightly and we might go once around the wrist just to secure everything in place take your scissors okay your dressing and you're just going to get a little piece of tape and again all pre-prepared and just secure that end down okay so and that's what it looks like at the back. And again, if you had your wound dressings on, you would wrap up to the top of those wound dressings to cover them and make sure that they uh, stay in good contact with the skin. And as you can see, the palm is free here. And that, this is really good if you'd like to improve uh, the uh, kind of sensory input through the hand. So you can see here that the palm is free, but the fingers are wrapped providing a bit of protection to each of those fingers. This wrapping is particularly useful for children who have EB, uh, who um, need, to need to have their fingers wrapped due to wounds uh, or blisters uh, to provide a level of protection to the skin. And also for children with congenital hand differences who may have had surgical procedures to release the web spaces between each of the fingers who need to provide gentle pressure to those scars to heal.